So in my last video, I showed you how to upgrade your Proview account to this new portal that's coming. And now we're ready to actually scan data and pull some data into Proview. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So what you do is that you go into the data map features of Proview. This is where you work with the actual physical uh, data assets. And before we do anything, we need to make sure that we are domain owners of this Proview uh, data catalog domain. That's the default domain that's been created for us. But we need to make sure that we are domain admins. So to do that, we go into role assignments and then we add the domain admin if we need to. I'm already an admin, so that means that I'm ready to go. And now I can create a new collection. So collection is where you group your sources and your data. And I want to have a collection specifically for fabric. So I'm gonna give it a name, I'm gonna give it a description uh, and also give it a collection admin. And then when I'm ready, I can click uh, create. And now the um, collection is created, but there's no data here. There's no assets, no uh, nothing. So we need to actually add and register a new data source. So go to data sources, click register, and then you uh, search for the source you want. I want to register fabric. And then I can give it a good uh, name and I can also um, choose what domain or collection I want it to be added to. And when I'm ready, I can click register. Now you see that we have our domain, we have our collection, now we have a source connected to that collection, but we don't have any data. We need to actually scan the data to, uh, to make that happen. So I'm gonna click here on new scan, and then I can decide if I want to include or exclude my personal workspaces in the uh, scan. And then I also can choose what collection do I want to add this to. If I now click continue, you can gonna see that the, um, the connection test failed. The reason for this is because of the managed identity of Microsoft Purview hasn't gotten the permission to uh, access Fabric yet. So we, before we do anything, we need to actually give uh, that managed identity access to Fabric. And you give this access by adding this managed identity to security group. And then you need to give the security group access to the Fabric APIs. And you do this uh, inside of the admin portal inside of Fabric. So then you actually have to go into Fabric and, and, and give access to those security groups there. And then we've done that, you can go back to uh, Purview and then test the connection again. And then you're gonna see that it's successful. And now you're ready to click continue. Then you can decide, is this gonna be a recurring uh, uh, scan or do I only want to do this scan once? And then you, uh, when you're ready, you can click save and run. Now, if we go into monitoring, we can actually see how it's going with our scan. We can see that we have a scan in progress. And if you have other scans, you can uh, monitor them from here. And after a while, you're gonna see that it turns green. That means that it succeeded, it worked. And if you go into view details, we can also check the, um, the details of our scan. So how long did it run and um, how did it go and so on. Now, if we go back to domains, you can actually see that we have some assets now inside of my Fabric collection. And these are all the uh, assets that I scanned from Fabric and now they're available. Now we have data in Purview. The next step is to start building these data products. We need to build these business domains. We need to start governing all of this data. So that's what I'm gonna show you in my next video.